case files. This is a different topic class, case files. Because the moment the DPP agrees to charge you, then there are files that must be prepared. So number one, we have a police file, or let's call it prosecution file, prosecution file. In the police file prosecution file, which is more, more or less similar, I want you to master this order. Without this order, you will completely be wrong because we are dealing with procedure. So when this comes in exams, it must follow this order. So this file has subfiles, subfiles from subfile A, subfile A. In the subfile A, there is the initial report, which is the OB report. Class, this one you must master. Do not cram, master. Then subfile B, we have the documentary. Documentary evidence. Documentary evidence. This one contains maps, the scene, what happened at the scene of crime. Then subfile C, we have the expert report. Expert report, like number one, we have the doctor's report. Like in my case, there was the ballistic report. Those are expert reports. Ballistic report. Then subfile B. Subfile D, we have what we call the witness, witnesses statements or witness statements, witness statements. Then subfile E, we have the accused or the suspects statement. E, F, F, we have the it's called uh, investigation diary. Investigation. Is it nearly Fajan Kitambo Sana? Sasa Kama, I can remember these things and chew them like yams. Say, Bu, say, wait, wait. Investigation diary. And it must be in this order. If it is not in this order, please, you will get wrong. Even if you get this one wrong, it will be wrong. EFG. G, we have a charge sheet. G, E, F, G, H. H, we have exhibits. G, H, I. I, we have a cover report. I repeat, class, this must be in this order. Do not bring your order. Do not confuse these things because you will get a wrong for free. Then, once we've dealt with that, we have another file called the advocate's file. In the advocate's file, what do we have there? We have a letter of appointment that the client appointed an advocate to do this case. Number two, we have a charge sheet. This one can be in any particular order. This one you can you can deal with it like a drunkard. You can stagger with it. Charge it. Then number three, we have the witness statements. Then number four, we have statement of defense. Then number five, we have the accused statement. Very important, number six, we have the bail and bond terms. Bail and bond terms. Very good. This one you can rearrange them in any way, but 
that's the content. Those are the contents of the advocates file. Then another interesting file that we have is the court file. Court file is the name of the court. Court of arms. Charge sheet. This one you can also do it in any way. Uh, name of the accused. Now, these are the types of files that we have. 